All right, now we're looking at the holographic sight. The sight itself, the actual reticle, is the same for all three of them, uh, which is kind of weird to me. I thought they would have switched that up a little bit, but that's how it goes. It's the dot with the circle and uh, a few crosshairs, very little bit of crosshair points. The only real difference is the actual side view of it and how it looks. Um, otherwise, it all looks the same looking down the sights. So it's really just on preference what you think looks better on top of the gun. Now for the rating system, I'm doing the corners in this one. I'm just trying new stuff. This is the first episode. Uh, the last one, it just kind of extended the time when I could really just cover it right here. I'm giving it the attacker, objective, defender, and support rating. Probably the best for uh, attacker and support just because the long range capabilities are a little bit more than the red dot. And the short range capabilities are a little bit less. So it's probably better not to do some objecting or defending because if they're getting close to you, it's going to be a little problematic. Uh, so let's go into the the good things about this. Same thing with the red dot. It's got good long, medium, and short range. Uh, with steady aim, it's better for shooting people off edges and snipers and stuff like that because it's a little bit more still and a little more stable at long range. So that's a plus for killing snipers and stuff like that. Uh, some negatives though is that you don't have that short range like I said before, which is kind of like that's kind of like the big advantage is that once you get a little bit closer, uh, it can be a little bit harder. You're probably better off shooting from the hip, and if you're going to be playing on a co uh, close quarters map, maybe throw on like um, straight from the hip or something like that. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't try to use the sight too, too much. It's not as good. It's going to pop a little bit, but otherwise it's pretty good. I mean, if you've seen this video, I get some short range kills. Some of them are a little hard when I zoom in, so I, I just mostly hip fire them. But that's really the big disadvantage of it. But it's not much of a difference. You can still kind of pull it off on the short range. But if you're just going to be doing short range, you might as well throw on the red dot. And, um, I mean, that's the major disadvantage. Some other things about it is just that uh, the sight picture is more blocked in also. So when you're at close range, it's better at far range when it's bigger. When you're at close range with a sight picture like this, it's easier to lose somebody. So click this annotation, go back to the main video, and uh, find what your next attachment is going to be.